Hey people, it's Nias talking. Now, I just want to thank Soul Convo because she made a good point that we should try and put content exclusively on Black Junction TV. So that's what I'm going to try, if I can, to get this there, only there. Because I just want to have a conversation with you guys while other people listening in. Now, the title that I've put on this was Brett Kavanaugh confirmed to the Supreme Court. So what? And I mean that. So what? Now, I just want to take a moment. Before I start talking on this, you know, I've said in my videos before, I'm not black, I'm Pakistani descent. I've never lied to you. Okay, I've been very upfront with you. I've kept it 100 and I'm going to keep it 100. Yeah, so not, yes, so what? So what? We know what America's about. I've watched it from the outside and I've talked to you guys over and over and heard your stories. And if you look at it objectively, America has never changed. Stokely Carmichael was right. America has no conscience. Has none. America has not changed. America does not want to change. No matter how disgusting America becomes and is seen on the world stage, you know, everything, all the evil and sickness they're seen, there is no desire to change. Okay? So, we are seeing this happen, and you've seen, oh my god, we've got this uh, sickening and disgusting person on the Supreme Court, what's going to happen to us? As Professor Truth once said, what do you mean what's going to happen to you? What hasn't happened to you? You've been enslaved, you've been tortured, you've been segregated, you've been experimented on, you've been put in jail, you've been murdered, everything that could happen to you has happened to you. What the hell are they going to do to you that hasn't already happened? No, this is a sideshow. Now, we are seeing more black people waking up. And we are seeing them take action. But I always say, action is not important enough We're on an end goal. And I've talked to a lot of you black people in America. I've listened to your stories and I've always I've come to one conclusion. The same one that Malcolm X did 50 years ago. Black people need and I mean black people in America, need their own nation. So, and it, uh, people might say, oh, that's a bit much. Can we just reform? No. How long have you been at this? You've been in America, supposedly, since 1619. Now, some people say black people were there before, and I believe that too. But officially, you've been there for almost 400 years. And it, it doesn't look any different now than it does 400 years ago. We're still seeing black people being murdered in the street and the, their murderers getting killed like it's nothing. The Casual Killing Act. Look that up. And it should be a... Every black person in America should get on board with this. And it should be a demand. Independence. Uh, we'll give you a black president. Again, no. We'll give you more black congressmen. No. Uh... We'll give you reparations if you shut up. Like, like what, and what kind of reparations are they going to give? A voucher or some bullshit like that. No reparations. The only reparations should be given to an independent black nation. Like, I don't know, loans and equipment to help build the black nation into a in strong, independent one. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else I want to add? Uh, Actually, I think I've said about all that there is to say. Actually, no, there it isn't. To continue on about America, you, some of you, a lot of you have been raised on the Bible. What does it say? The house that is built upon the sand. America is the house that is built upon the sand. It was built by liars, murderers, thugs, thieves. The worst of the worst. You know, if you look at the founding fathers and you look at them, you'd see that they are nothing to be admired. They should have been in jail, really. Well, they, in the modern day, if they were Africans who ruled the nation, they'd be on trial in The Hague, that's for sure. So we, that's how we know the standard, the, the caliber of the men who founded America. And the tide is now coming in. It is washing away the foundations, and we are seeing the rotten foundations that it's built upon. They are rotting and it's falling apart. So, black people, I have to ask you, are you going to stay in the house that is built on the sand? Now, Martin Luther King integrated you into the house that he said was burning. So are you going to stay there? Okay. Uh, 
Right? Like I said, I really don't have no more things to say. I want you to think about these thoughts and the direction black people are going to move in in America and what's going to happen. So just reflect on it. So peace, remember what we talked about.